Hey everybody, Captain Chemo back again with another video. This video I am going to show you how I use Topaz Denoise to remove noise from my HDR images. And this image here is perfect for this tutorial and the reason is because I shot at a very high ISO so I can shoot during low light and you can see here that it has a lot of noise you can see in the sky and also in the train you can see the grain and the noise it's just very very unpleasant to look at so I'm gonna zoom out here and we're going to duplicate this image and I'm going to run Topaz Denoise on this image okay so right now we have Topaz Denoise window open and I am just going to use the JPEG strong preset so I'm just gonna click on that and Topaz is going to render out in this window and you can see here how it removed all that noise so here's the original and here is the denoised version of the photo so let's go into the sky and see what it did here in the sky you can see in the sky it, it removed a lot of the noise from the photo so I'm just gonna use the JPEG strong preset and hit OK and that's it that's how I use Topaz denoise in my workflow now I always use it at the beginning of my uh, my processing and that's usually after I create my HDR photo from Photomatics this particular photo was created in Photomatics tone mapped in Photomatics and then I bring it into Photoshop for post processing and before I start doing anything to it I always denoise my photo first and the reason is because when I denoise the photo and I start Start processing the image it produces a better result than if I were to denoise later on or after I finish processing the photo now some of you might be wondering why I don't use the Photoshop denoise feature this is Photoshop uh, CS 5.5 and it does have a denoise option that I can use and it doesn't really do a good job of removing noise like Topaz does so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you the result from that so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that layer I'm gonna pull it up here and we're gonna go into filters and noise remove noise and this is the built-in filter for removing noise in Photoshop CS5 so I'm gonna go ahead and click that alright so once I get the reduced noise window for uh, Photoshop I, I have these settings here and these settings are already set so you can adjust the strength here and I, I'll crank it all the way up and everything here looks good and this is to preserve the detail so you don't want it too blurry if you have it at zero it'll be you'll lose a lot of detail and I'll bring this up around 13 10 I, we'll do a good number 10 there and reduce the color noise uh, we'll crank that to 100% we'll leave sharpen details alone and hit OK alright so now let's go ahead we're gonna go ahead and zoom in here I'm gonna zoom in right around the train area and we will I'll show you the before and after so this is uh, with noise here the original image with noise and this is the Photoshop version of the reduced noise filter in Photoshop so I'm going to go ahead and click the eyeball for the Topaz version and then we're, we'll hide that. So this is the Topaz version of the uh, reduced noise and this is the Photoshop version. You can see that uh, there's still some noise there. And I pretty much cranked it up in Photoshop using the, uh, the, the denoise feature in Photoshop. So we're going to zoom in right around the, uh, the number here and you can get a better idea of what Topaz did. So this is Topaz denoise and this is Photoshop denoise okay so that's pretty much it for Topaz denoise but I'm gonna show you what I do next and how I finish up my photo using Topaz adjust so we're gonna go ahead and apply Topaz adjust I remove the uh, Photoshop denoise layer here and we're gonna just this is the uh, Topaz denoise layer and we're going to apply Topaz adjust here so I'm gonna go with filters and Topaz adjust and we're going to apply some uh, filter here to the photo and I like using the classic collection we're going to go straight to classic collection first and start with either brilliant cold or brilliant warm and I'm liking the warm a little better so I'm going to start start from there and this is how I just add a little more pop to my HDR images so we're going to go ahead and to the global adjustment this is where you would you would adjust all the main features of Topaz adjust and I normally like to bring my adaptive exposure down but we'll play around with it yeah we'll we'll bring it down right about there and then I'll leave region alone contrast I sometimes like bringing the contrast down some 
so we'll bring it down and bring it right about there about a negative 1.76 and we'll scroll down here and let's see if I want to protect the highlights or not which I I look looks like I want to do that so I increase it by about 0.06 here and let's go into protect shadows and see we're gonna leave that alone I think I'm gonna bring down the brightness a little bit oh, a little too much there let's bring it up that's the thing about brightness is just a little bit is too much so I'll bring it down to a negative 1.4 and then let's go ahead and close adaptive exposure and get into detail um, detail I like to bring the strength up some not too much and detail boost again some but not too much it's starting to look good so I'm gonna leave the rest as is close the detail settings and go into color now we're going to bring adaptive saturation up a little bit and see if we like it. And it doesn't really do anything, so we'll leave it alone. Next we'll go into saturation and bring it up. Oh, that might be a little too much. So I'll bring it down some. Or we'll actually leave it at 1. So, And let's play around with the hue a little bit to see if we like it more towards the left or more towards the right and I'm liking it more towards the left here so I'm gonna pull it to the left a little so it's looking good I'm gonna close the color down and we're gonna leave the rest alone I'm gonna close global adjustment and then we are going to go into finishing touches I am going into the warm area to play around with the temperature just a little bit and I'm liking it right about there I'm gonna close that out and go to vignette and just kinda of create a little vignette around the photo just to draw the eye into the center alright so that looks that looks pretty good I'm going to click OK and let it render the photo okay so that is pretty much it for this photo so this is the original HDR image and this is the enhanced version where I use Topaz Denoise and Topaz Adjust now I would normally take this photo into Lightroom to adjust the colors it is a little intense and I would adjust the colors there mainly it's, it's very warm a lot of warm tones that I don't really like and I would probably go into Lightroom to adjust that but this video is really about Topaz Denoise so I added it just just to show you how I use the topaz in my workflow. So that is pretty much it for this video tutorial. If you want more information about me or my photography, go to captainchemo.com. Over there you'll see my daily photos and a lot more video tutorials um, as well as uh, sample files and whatnot so that you can produce photos just like the captain. So until next time, oh and don't forget to subscribe to Captain Chemo's YouTube channel. So until next time, this is Captain Chemo signing.